Hi, this is Charles Haley, five-time Super Bowl champ. And my name is Lori Lynch, Senior Vice President, Customer Success for my station. And we want to welcome you to our reading series called iStation Reads in partnership with Tackle Tomorrow. Charles and I are excited to introduce this amazing reading series where you're going to hear from a lot of personalities reading iStation books. We'll ask you some questions at the beginning of each story and by the end we'll follow up to see if you've got the right answers. So join us for each episode. You'll see us on iStation's YouTube channel. If you love it, share us on social media. We look forward to working with you, and as Charles always says, It doesn't matter where you start, it's where you finish. You're so right, Charles. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Hi, I'm Jamie from iStation. Today we have the great pleasure of listening to Brandon Wachensky and his children read to us. Brandon is a 15-year veteran of the NHL and played for teams like the Boston Bruins, Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Ottawa Senators. He also graduated and played hockey for the University of North Dakota, and currently he is running for the mayor of Grand Forks, North Dakota. He thinks this is a great example of showing people that you can transition in careers during a lifetime. While Brandon is reading, let's think about some questions that we'll come back to at the end of the book. Why do you think Mr. Grump was called Mr. Grump? Hmm. What changed Mr. Grump's mind about the children? And finally, what happened to the children at the end of the story? Hi, I'm Brandon Bochensky. I live in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I got to play hockey in the NHL and all over the world for a 15 year career. I got to play for the Boston Bruins, the Ottawa Senators and the Tampa Bay Lightning. It was a lot of fun, but it was hard work. Today I'm gonna to read you a book, but I got a few helpers with me. This is Henry, Charlie, and Sylvia. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the book. Mr. Grump and the Beautiful Yard. Chapter one. This is Mr. Grump. He has no friends. He has a beautiful yard with lovely flowers. Mr. Grump works in his yard every day. Children stopped at Mr. Grump's gate. He would not let them in his yard. They wanted to play in his yard. They wanted to run, skip, jump in the green grass. The children asked, may we play in your yard? Mr. Grump said, I have worked very hard in my yard. You will crush my flowers. The children said, please, please let us come inside. Mr. Grump yelled, no, go away. The children were sad. Chapter two. One day, Mr. Grump got sick. He stayed in bed for a long time. The children did not see Mr. Grump. The children asked, where is Mr. Grump? They thought his yard needed help. The children decided to help. They worked in Mr. Grump's yard. He watched from his window. One day, the children saw Mr. Grump. Mr. Grump said, children, come here. Thank you for taking care of my yard. Mr. Grump opened the gate. He said, you can play in my yard. Hooray, the children shouted and they ran inside. Now Mr. Grump has a beautiful yard. Now he has a lot of friends. The end. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed the book. Hope to see you soon. Why do you think Mr. Grump was called Mr. Grump? Hmm. What changed Mr. Grump's mind about the children? And finally, what happened to the children at the end of the story? 
Thanks for reading for us today, Brandon and children. Number one, let's get to these questions. Why do you think Mr. Grump was called Mr. Grump? If you said because he was grumpy with the other children and would not let them play in his garden, you are correct. Number two, what changed Mr. Grump's mind about the children? If you said Mr. Grump got very sick and the children took care of his garden during that time, you are correct. And number three, what happened to the children at the end of the story? If you said they were allowed to play in Mr. Grump's garden, you are correct. Thanks for reading with us today. Lori here again. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the story. Remember, tune into our iStation YouTube channel to check out iStation Reads. If you love us, share us on social media. Hope to see you again real soon.